Does this look familiar to you? If it does, please watch this video to see how to improve those short lofted pitches. We've all just witnessed a fantastic Ryder Cup competition from uh, America. Although we don't talk about the result, there was certainly some spectacular golf played, um, particularly around the greens. Uh, chipping and putting really came to the fore and that's probably what won uh, the US their Ryder Cup. Um, I get asked a lot how to play a short lofted shot onto a green and, and quite a lot of people have a misconception on what creates the lift on the golf ball. They've always been told to hit down on the golf ball so they tend to want to try and drive their hands forward a little bit too much. Now the problem with that is usually that's combined with a golf ball that's too far back in the stance. So the leading edge of the club gets dug down into the ground and the press. The club's got no loft. The weight tends to be too far forward so there's one of two things that are going to happen, neither of which are very good for good short game. Number one, what can happen is the club can come down too steeply. As I say, that leading edge drives down into the ground. We hit in two inches behind the ball. The ball goes nowhere because the club just hits turf and turf hits ball. The other thing that can happen, again, we've all seen, is what tends to happen is, is you know you're going to hit down into the ground then the weight goes backwards back into the right side now the club's lifting you're going to hit above the ball and then you're going to skin the ball along the ground it's not going to get over that bunker and it's not going to land softly so the way to play this shot play the golf ball further forward play it up inside the left heel what we need to do to counteract the fact that that's going to make the club rise as you strike the golf ball is to move the sternum across to the left so you've moved your top half up level with the golf ball. So the zip on my jacket here is directly above the golf ball. So starting from a point where my hands might be behind the golf ball, as I move that zip across, I've now got my hands level with the ball. That's going to get the right sort of strike. So as the club works along the ground, the sole of the club is going to skid and run along the ground. The loft of the club is going to work and send the ball up into the air. So there's no lifting, there's no digging down gliding across the surface. So from that good setup position with the ball forward, weight moving left, I'm going to make sure I keep the weight on this left side. As the club goes back, I keep my arms and chest working together, the wrist hinging up, the body turns but the weight stays to the left. So we've got a good shaft position here with the shaft standing up. In fact, as you can see from the other video here, the shaft is pointing down towards the golf ball parallel still to that red stick. What we don't want to see is again what you see sometimes people turning too quickly, the shaft gets very laid down, very flat. Again, from that position you can't get the club working down to the ball. You're going to have to manipulate the club some way. That's not good, you're just losing the loft on the club face. So leaning to the left, hinging up, keeping the weight on the left side, then as you come back we're clearing that left side out of the way. The body is turning, the loft of the club is still intact there, there's plenty of loft and I rotate my chest through to face the target. Let's see that in action. Weight to the left. So close. So to summarise, ball position, left heel just inside the left heel. Hands which have a start and from behind the golf ball to the centre of the body. As I move my sternum forward, the hands are now level. Keep the weight on the left side, rotate the chest, but hinge the wrist upwards onto the correct plane. The left side clears, the chest keeps turning and the weight is gonna move through to the left hand side. So I'm turning to face the target, just the same as I would do if I was throwing a golf ball onto the green. I'm not hanging back, I'm not lifting the ball into the air, I'm shifting the weight to the left, keeping the weight rotating on top of that left hip. Let's give this one more try. Hope you enjoyed that video, hope you get out and practice next time you're up here because it's going to help you so much. If you can hit that high floaty shot, you're going to have more short putts chance to make a few more pars and get that handicap moving in the right direction. Thank you for watching.